Hi everyone, it's Giselle here with a channeled message for today. I felt quite guided to do this. Um, it's about reflection and about a few sessions I've had with people have started to make me really look into this a lot more. Um, and at the start of the new year, I've had a few people saying to me, that they've discovered a few things about who they thought were their beloveds and also about people who are definitely sure um, about who their beloveds are but just things that they're still not happy about um, asking, you know, why are they still repeating the same old patterns? Why are they still in karmic situations? Why are they still repeating and blatantly showing things that I just am not happy with. And what I'd like to ask you, if that's you as well, is don't keep pointing the finger at them because ask yourself, um, are you still doing things or thinking things, you know, more importantly, thinking things that reflect, um, bad habits or let me give you an example um one of the people that came to me said that they were really disappointed to discover that their beloved had still been seeing a karmic partner whilst they have been single and waiting for their beloved to arrive and so we went through a few ideas back and forth but then ultimately came to the conclusion that whilst they were actually single and not seeing anyone like their beloved was they still had a backup plan so an ex that they used to go out with was still um yeah a plan b if things didn't work out for any reason, that they could still go back to that person because they know that person will always be there for them. And you see, your side of the mirror may not be exactly what your twin is reflecting back to you, but energetically, it's very similar. Like You may not physically be with anyone, but you have that energy of, I have a backup plan. And they are actually physically with someone because they need that person to show them the karmic lesson. But you are both energetically within the same thing. So because we mirror each other and because we are constantly elevating each other through healing, through working on ourselves, through creating the life that we are supposed to live, you know, they will feel that very strongly and this is why you will have these situations. And even though it may not be obvious mirroring, it is energetic mirroring and this is the message I've been guided to put out, is be conscious of thoughts, of beliefs. And if you don't want your beloved to reflect that back to you, then you must erase that within your life too. So this person who had a backup plan needs to just get rid of that and just put the final nail in the coffin and get rid of that person um, once and for all and just never ever think, oh, if things don't work out, at least I could still go back to him. No not good enough you know because whilst you think what your twin is doing may be worse because they're actually with someone on the physical energetically it's the same thing so the moral of the story is check in with yourself rather than pointing the finger are you energetically mirroring because most likely that is what's happening and this is only example, you know, there's, there's many other potentialities there, but uh, 
Yeah. Check yourself before you point the finger and blame. And also, don't be cruel to your beloved. Not even directly to their face, but when you talk about them. Because I've had someone who was saying stuff like, um, Oh, I wish you would just grow a pair. I wish you would just stop being such a, a pansy. <laughs> supposedly love this person why would you say that so i i've said this before but words hold power so do thoughts and whether you say this to the person's face or not this energy can be felt so be careful and um yeah i was uh just guided to put this out there and i hope that this has helped some of you if you'd like to come to me for a reading please follow the link to my website i don't just offer readings I, I offer different services i offer meditations crystal healing um coaching all that so please um feel free if you are drawn to me of course and this is again something i, I want to tell people is be discerning you know some some people If you don't feel guided or feel drawn to somebody, don't bother if you're in doubt. And this is this goes for everyone. And I found this out, you know, myself that you have to be following your own intuition if you don't feel that someone is for you because you won't resonate with every reader and not every reader will be for you. And with me, I will say if you are considering having a reading, Whatever you are willing to put in is what you will get from the reading. So if you are deliberately blocking or having negative energies throughout the reading, because I'm tuning in via yourself, the reading will be tainted with that energy. So just be mindful of that, um, just so that you get the best and the most out of your session. And um, even though my prices have changed and gone back to normal now, I've try I am trying to keep them as fair as I can. I don't charge hundreds of dollars for readings. I don't think that's... That's fair at all, you know. I've been in a position where I could hardly afford any readings. And um, I also don't agree with people who say, well, you shouldn't charge because there has to be an equal exchange of energy. I found this out the hard way when I was on the phone lines and I would earn something stupid like um, two pounds for the hour. I mean, <laughs> that's not an equal exchange of energy. And that type of work really drains me and I cannot give the best of me when I'm absolutely drained either so I would say be fair don't expect people to give their time and energy for free but then I don't expect people to demand such high insane prices that not everyone who needs it can actually afford a session sorry I'm rambling on but I felt guided to say that about the readings as well so I hope this has helped you. Thank you so much for listening and I will be back with another message shortly and possibly with other readings. I'll see uh, what I'm guided to do. Thank you. Namaste.